hello, I'm Janice and I hope you're all doing well. In today's video, we are gonna be doing a number of different things. One of the things we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be checking out a restaurant that relatively recently opened and I've been meaning to check out because the way that they've decorated this place, it looks so cool. Okay, so this is my breakfast for today. We have scrambled eggs and prosciutto in between two slices of butter toast. This is delicious. Savory, creamy, and eggy. And of course, carby as well. We have a package delivered, which is perfect because now I can film the unboxing. So we have a box of chocolates from Coco Black and this is from the Hong Kong Tourism Board. Happy New Year, Kung Hei Fa Choi. I just wanna say, yeah, Happy New Year. I hope you got the opportunity to spend time with family and eat lots of food. Have a very happy and healthy year of the tiger. Oh, cool. It has a collection of eight pralines for luck and prosperity. Nice, I like Cocoa Black chocolates. Wow, it's gold, very shimmery. Thank you, thank you very much. I will make sure to share this. So I've been looking into how best to organize my pantry. So this is actually quite steep. And what I find is that if I put things at the very, very back, it's really hard to get to. And so what I've done right now is I've left like a gap in the middle so I can see everything, but I don't think that that's the best use of space. So today I'm going to, I'm going to go to Ikea, see my pantry options, Preferably if there's something that I can like, like a long drawer type thing and I can like pull out. But yeah, we shall see. Can you tell by the background where I'm at right now? This is a place that opened not too long ago and I'm keen. I'm keen to explore this place. There is a specific restaurant that I do want to go and try. So hopefully, Hopefully there aren't too many people here for lunch today. There are so many different shops. There is one, two, three, I think three. There are three levels. Um, and it, there, there isn't too many people here today. Okay, I was just about to head on to the escalator and then I realized it's out of order. So we're finding a lift. So the reason we're here today is I wanted to um, try out a place here at Road Central before we head to Ikea. There is a lot of different like types of restaurants. There's a ramen place, there is Sushi Junction. The place that I really want to check out is a place called Hong Kong Street Food. The way that they've decorated the restaurant, it's quite unique and it feels like once you've stepped in, you've been transported to Hong Kong. Hopefully, like I said earlier, there aren't too many people, but we shall see. A 
Okay, so I've just arrived at Hong Kong street food here at Rhodes Central and I was debating what to order. So initially I was going to order their cart noodles where you sort of choose a couple items, either two, three or four. And then I noticed the time right now we can actually go for the afternoon tea specials. So it happens between 2.30 to 5. So I opted for that as well because you get like a dish and it also comes with either coffee or Hong Kong milk tea. And I think like the entire thing is only 12.50. So yeah, I'm going to I'm going to get one of that instead. So if I were to order my cart noodles, I would have gotten three toppings, chicken wings, curry fish balls and also radish. Radish in my cart noodles is always delicious because it soaks up that flavor in the broth. I need to add more sugar now. I'm happy without sugar. The evaporated milk that's in this milk tea is sweet enough for me. Okay, so this is the rice noodles and it's in like a, a fish broth as well, which is super milky. I can definitely taste the fish in there. And I do really like the spicy, which is like the, the rice noodles. It's just so smooth. It's got a good texture to it. It's still a little bit chewy. The cuttlefish balls, that is really good. I actually prefer that over the fish curd. I miss Hong Kong a lot and coming here reminds me of how much I miss Hong Kong. That is my absolute favorite. There is the beef and vegetable soup, Korean chicken ginseng soup. They have a variety of different meatballs. And then, oh, this is like perfect for if you want to do hot pot and stuff like that. I honestly don't know how I keep making this same mistake, which is that if I park, I don't really take note of where I've parked and so when I need to come and get my car and I'm like where did I actually park? Sometimes if I'm lucky I vlog so I can look through my previous footage to <laughs> revisit my surroundings. This always happens when I park somewhere that I'm not familiar with and so yeah anyway I found my car. Okay we are gonna go and head to Ikea now it's actually really really close to Road Central. We're heading to Road Waterside Shopping Centre. I think that's I think that's the name. And <clears throat> like I said earlier, I just wanted to see if there's anything at IKEA that would inspire me for my pantry organization. Anyway, next up, IKEA. The last time I came to Ikea was probably a year ago when I came here with my parents and we checked out like the food that was available. If you want to watch that video, you can watch it right here. But yeah, every time I go to Ikea, I end up buying something. We'll see what happens. I mean, we have a goal today, so more than likely, yes. I always get so excited when I come to Ikea. Something about the mock showrooms for some reason gets me so excited but <clears throat> I'm not going to get distracted we are looking to organize the pantry so it's either in the kitchen area or downstairs where they have a whole range of different kind of storage stuff look this is pretty cool they they have somehow been able to separate the study and also the living area by like this kind of shelf here and this shelf has like four different sides where you can I guess put storage books and stuff like that every time I come to Ikea I look at how they use their space and I'm like why can't I be like that yeah I think we've got to go downstairs downstairs is where we've got to be in order to find some of the organization options because um, I couldn't find too much upstairs they were mostly like bigger type furniture Oh, there we go. Jar wood lid, one liter clear glass. This is something that I was also looking for, like this 
I can put this in the in the pantry and then sort it, but I was looking for something that was like longer. There is lots of different storage options, but I just can't find what it is that I need for my pantry. Although I am a little bit tempted to get the wok. IKEA woks 33 centimeters for $14. Has anybody used these before? Are there any good? Let me know. I'm very interested. That's a nice succulent. So I don't think I ended up finding what I needed, but I am going to buy a few things, which I will show you in just a sec. Before we leave IKEA though, I do want to check out one additional place. These are too obvious that it's fake. Oh, they also have never tried potato mash that you put in the microwave. Comes with the condiments as well. One of my all time favorite IKEA desserts. When I go to their cafe, I always get it. I think it's delicious. They do have, you know, chicken balls, hot dogs, hot dogs for a dollar, I think. Ice cream for a dollar as well. A Swedish meatball sub for three bucks and a Cinnabon for $1.50. Okay, so we went to Ikea to get pantry stuff and we ended up getting two bath mats. They're like eight bucks. And I also got a bin. I will um, look online to see if I can find, you know, what I need for the pantry stuff. I mean, if you have any suggestions on how you organize your, your pantries, I would love to hear it. But this is the end of our IKEA journey. The contents of this bag is what we're going to be having for dinner tonight. We have garlic prawns, we have cherry tomatoes, parsley, and we also have an entire bag of garlic. We're not going to be using all of this for tonight. I don't know if you're able to guess, but we're going to be having prawn pasta. It's super quick and it's also really, really delicious. So in the time that we cook up this pasta, which takes less than 10 minutes, we would have already, you know, fried up the prawns, the garlic, the cherry tomatoes. It's quick and it's delicious and I cannot wait. Once I've got the pasta going, I start adding the garlic, the, the tomatoes, and then frying up the prawns as well. And then we'll add the parsley and the lemon a little bit later. I think now is a good time to add some butter and also some chili flakes. All right, and there we have it, a prawn pasta. We have garlic, butter, uh, parsley, tomatoes, lots of garlic actually. And then I added some butter at the very end as well. This is very, very quick to make. Literally, you just chop everything up, fry it, and you're pretty much done. The combination of chili, butter, lemon, and garlic, it's just so good. 
All right, and that is pretty much it for this video. Thank you so much for watching till the end. I post new videos every week. Check them out if you have time. I hope you have an amazing rest of the week and I will see you in my next video. Bye. I don't mind it. Okay, it's this one. White chocolate ganache with mandarin puree and yuzu encased in 54% dark chocolate. That one's good. This one.